Hey everybody, welcome back to Penelope's Plantation. It's been a long time since we've seen you guys and we've been real busy this summer and we wanted to update you on everything we've been doing. So, as we talked about before, we were planning on getting a camper out here so we could spend our weekends and be in comfort, be able to clean up, shower up, and cook and have a lot of modern conveniences. So, we finally went with the Forest River 171 RBXL. It comes with uh, two 20 pound propane tanks, electric jack with a light, etc. Jack goes up and down over here. If you look underneath, there is a battery and a battery disconnect. Now, being that we're plugged in the shore power, we don't necessarily need to use the battery, but it will operate on battery and electric. So the gross weight or net weight on this empty is 4,071 pounds. It's a little bit heavier than what we initially looked at. We initially looked at a 19 FQS. And what it, the difference is, it was a single axle that had one 20 pound tank and it weighed approximately 300 to 400 pounds less than this. This is a tandem axle and it's a little bit heavier than what I wanted. My Tacoma is rated for 6,500 pounds with the towing package. And at 4,071, it's, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, the truck was able to handle it at a little bit lower speed it didn't do so bad with this tandem axle so if you come around to the side here we have access to storage there we have window we have our furnace now this screen over the furnace was an additional purchase i bought from amazon helps keep the uh bugs, insects, and rodents out from clogging up. They really suggested you buy something like that. And of course, we're hooked up to a city water connection, which is our water connection out here on the property. Over here, if you look, and you can show the screen there, if you can get to the screen. That is a progressive industry electrical management system with surge protection. Now, it's recommended that everybody have some kind of surge protection, which is great, especially if you're going to campsites and you have pedestals and you're not sure what their electrical system is like. Surge protection is great. This electrical management system is even better. It will help protect you not only from surges, it will protect you from low voltage and other things that can happen to your electrical system because like right now we're running an air conditioner and if there's low voltage with with just a surge protector it'll keep running but it can burn the motor out that's what i've been told so back to the camper over here we have the freshwater fill tank if you're boondocking and you don't have access to city water you can fill your freshwater tank we have stabilizers between the two axles here we have the vent that opens and shuts for the uh, stove top, you reach in there, open it, and shut it. Over here, you have two two outlets here for uh, cable satellite. Now, what we plan on doing is putting up an aerial on our building here with the lean-to, and having antennas up help us get good TV reception. Down below, you have black water and gray water. The gray water discharge is pretty simple because the handle is gray. So it helps you remember or identify which handle to pull first. You wanna dump your gray or black water, then move to your gray water, flush out the line. We bought a portable tank that we can dump our black water into and dispose of it properly. So moving along to the back, you have a backup camera, rear doorway camera mount. It's camera ready. So you, you could put a camera in there and then it's, it's all wired up and ready to go. Spare tire. 
black tank flush. We have our disposal hoses inside the rear bumper. Underneath, if you show over here, this not only comes with a stabilizer jack, but it's got the strong arm addition to it, which really helps. You, you unscrew that, that bolt there and uh, it loosens up so you can lower and raise it. Once you lowered it where you want, screw it back down and it really helps stabilize the camper. Then we have storage here. And uh, this is a gas powered hot water heater. Okay. And this anode is replaceable. And what we've bought, we have bought an electrical element heating system that we would be able to also heat this tank with electric. And then if we want to boost it up for showers or whatever, you can also turn on the gas. You can use both at the same time. It's safe to do so if you properly install this. So this, this is something we're going to try out, but right now we're just heating it when we need it with gas. We have an electric awning here, opens up electrically, retracts electrically, and you can manually adjust one side lower than the other. We also have the steps here, which is the solid step, which is really nice because if anybody remembers, campers from years ago had those fold out steps that when you stepped on them, rocked the whole camper. So this has adjustable legs to go all the way to the ground. Now, we are working on building up more earth here next to the camper to raise the level. But right now, it's sitting on a pad that's just wide enough for the camper. So it's a little bit steep getting in and out. We're gonna be working on that with a new box blade we got. We have an outlet here. You also have access on this side to uh that goes all the way through to the other side it's a good storage area so it's underneath the couch you can also access from the inside underneath the couch and then the two cabinets on the sides you also have a fury and solar charge outlet here if you want to run if you're boondocking and you want to charge up your keep your battery charged up you can plug in a solar panel the refrigerators on these things nowadays, they're not so much propane uh, powered anymore. They're moving to battery and electric. So if you're boondocking, it'll just run off your battery. If you're, power, if you're plugged in, it'll of course run off your electric. But it's real nice. It's a low drain on your battery and it works really good for us. We're always plugged in here. We're not moving the camper much or going anywhere with it. It's pretty much kind of semi-permanent for us right here. So come on inside and we'll show you the inside. <clears throat> All right guys, this is the inside of our 171 RBX. What we have over here, we have two storage areas, closet, room for uh, clothes to hang. You got two outlets here. You got two USB outlets on the wall on either side. Then this sofa is a Murphy bed, which you can just pull these armrests out. That's what they call a jack knife, knife sofa. And again, there is access to the underneath storage underneath that sofa. Lay that down, pull your levers out. Of course, you can see our, was it mossy oak, real tree bed sheet set we got here. And there you go, there's your bed. So, that was the difference between this and the single axle. The single axle one we had looked at, which was a cheaper camper, but it didn't have a Murphy bed option. It was just a bed. So it's kind of nice that it worked out. That's, this is what we ended up with. 
then just set your sofa back up. Good to go. You got over here again the USB and outlets. We got a fan over here, window, and we're gonna work our way over here. We have our two two bay sink, microwave, good size microwave, gas stove top, gas oven. We got these this converting table. It'll, It'll set down, take the two poles out, it'll set down, and lay all the cushions down. You got a small bed here underneath each side. Came with, it came with these bins, which is really nice. You got these sealable bins, keep, keep any pests out, put food, whatever else, paper products, whatever else you want. You got a cabinet here and it's pretty neat I found these collapsible uh, strainer and uh, a colander and a dish drying rack and they collapse down so it's nice then we got drawer space here drawer space there we got cabinets over here it's pretty nice Nice glass, so you don't see all the stuff inside. You got them over here. You got your, you, well, you do have, you also have a stereo system with a remote control, a Furion, and the speakers are on the outside as well as the inside. And there is an LED light strip on the outside. And the speakers are really neat because they light up blue when you turn it on. You got these easy to use lights. Press the button in the center. Here's pop one LEDs. You got a uh, good size little freezer, and then you got a uh, nice size fridge. Like I say, we got it set at Dakota setting because we're running directly off electric. We're not worried about battery drain. We actually have the battery switched off right now, and it's it's running everything. And you got this latch for transport. Then you have a nice Coleman AC unit up top, but it's not just here. You have two outlets here, and you have two outlets over here with duct work. So it's really neat. It's really nice, and you can you can turn them different directions that you want. You can shut them, whatever you want, whatever makes you most comfortable. So it's not just limited to the center unit. Then we mounted a, what was it, 32 inch? 32 inch Roku TV up here. Fills the space in nicely. They had a marker on the wall, kind of gives you an idea where the backer uh, wood is to mount your TV mount. We've had no problems with it at all. It's worked really well for us. Then, moving along to the bathroom, which, even though it's kind of small, you can come on in here. You've got a double door shower. You got a double door shower there. You got a nice sink. You've got storage under the sink. Let me show all that. Mm. And you got the medicine cabinet style medicine cabinet mirror combination. We added the tile hanger there. And it's it's pretty good size shower. You can really really get in there. Show them. The, did you yeah, show I'm gonna chime in real quick. They have really good storage in this bathroom, I think. Um, and then I'll show you too. So not only do you have this storage and by the sink, but you also have behind the toilet. Here. So you've got this whole thing in a bar where you can hang up here and then on the side also. So yeah, this really works great for us. It's got plenty of storage and then place for trash can. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. 
I'm whatever. just thankful we have a bathroom. Yay! <laughs> what are your cons about the camper? What do you not like about it? I mean, if there were any more than just he and I, I think there would not be enough room. Yeah. So if you have little kids, this is going to be too small. Yeah. I mean, even though this will lay down, and I'm sure we'll use it when our kids come just to stay for a weekend, once we con them into coming. <laughs> um, I would like to camp out with them. We have older kids, um, 17 and up. So it takes some, like, willpower to get them to actually spend time with us out here. <coughs> but... Um, no, I think it's really great for just he and I. It's been really nice, too, because we got married with kids. And we've since we've been married, there's always been our children around. Yes. So it's been nice to kind of get away and have a honeymoon, which we never really have had. Um, so this has been wonderful just to kind of get away. And even though we've got I have a lot of mowing to do after a bit. We have a lot of mowing and stuff to take care of here to get it prepped for building a house in a few years. But um, like you said, it's really been wonderful to have for the weekend. I don't feel like we're rushed um, every night before the camper. It was like 11, 12 o'clock at night that we were leaving to head home. We hadn't eaten dinner. We still needed a shower and go to bed. So it's just been really great to have this camper here and like I said, a bathroom. What are the things you do like about it? I just said what I like. Well, you, the bathroom. The bathroom. I like, I will say with the bed, I don't know. I've never really had, I've never slept in a camper bed before. I, we haven't gotten one yet, but get a pillow top oh, yeah. cover. Because it is like sleeping. Sleeping on plywood. Yeah. So, the mattress um, isn't a bit quite firm. And you will want a mattress topper or replace your mattress. Yeah, for sure. But it's, it's really convenient. I really like it. Um, it's been great to grill out on the campfire that we have. We're ready with some well, we got a box, box out burn. there to burn. But um, no, it's been, really, it's been really, really nice having. The AC really starts working really quickly, which is good. It cools down very quickly. Yeah. It seems well insulated. Yes, it does. We'll see how it does. I don't know that we'll be out here much in the winter, so I don't know that we'll get to play with the heater or any, but... Not much. Yeah, no, I, I really enjoy the... So everybody, that's a recap on the 171 RBXL. If anybody has questions about it, uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And uh, we hope everybody had a great summer and that uh, you continue to move forward on your homestead. Thanks and take care.